What's up, waivers? Welcome to PhD and Waves. In today's video, I'm going to go over the best length to start your 360 waves. Depending on which length you start your wave pattern, this is going to change a lot of things along your 360 wave journey. I'm going to go over all the pros and cons of starting your 360 wave journey at different hair lengths so you know the best way in order to start your 360 wave journey. So there's three main hair lengths that you can start your 360 waves. You can start your 360 waves when you scalp. You can start your 360 waves when you have like medium hair, or you can start your 360 waves when you're wolfing with longer hair. There's pros and cons to all of these, so let's get right into it. So let's start with scalp. This is the shortest that your hair could be. This is when you basically have a baldy or you might have like a buzz cut and you're also not at your curl length. Even though you're not at your curl length and you don't really have much hair on your head, you could still start your 360 waves when you're scalped. So some of the pros of starting your 360 wave journey when you're scalped is you're training your 360 waves from the root. This is important because when, when you're training your pattern and you're training your pattern from the root, all layers of your pattern are gonna be trained if you maintain your brush sessions. So for example, I started my 360 waves after I scalped and I started brushing even though I didn't really have much hair on my head. And I noticed as soon as I hit my curl, length I instantly got waves so this is a really good way to start your wave pattern because once you're brushing your hair even before your curl length you'll instantly get waves once you reach your curl length because your pattern is already trained you've been training it since you've been scalped so the root of your pattern up until your curl length is technically trained so as soon as you reach your curl length you'll instantly get waves but some of the cons to starting your 360 wave pattern from scalped is you will be bald uh, for a couple weeks. Another con of starting your 360 wave from being scalped or bald is you can't really do a wash and style. You can't shower brush because your hair is simply not long enough. So you basically just have to use a soft brush and wear a do-rag and you can't really do any other methods. It's basically just brushing. Uh, you can't really comb. So if you don't really know your curl length and you want to instantly get waves once you reach your curl length, you can start your 360 waves from a scalped head. And you can also identify where your crown area is. A lot of people, they ask, uh, how do I train my crown? A good way to train your crown is to identify where your crown is and train it in that specific area where your natural crown is. Also, if you train your pattern from being scalped, you're gonna avoid a lot of over curling and over wolfing because if you maintain your brush sessions while you're scalped, once your hair starts to grow, like I said, your pattern is automatically gonna be trained because you've been training your pattern since a low length. So once your hair starts to grow, it's gonna be a lot more manageable. And like I keep saying, your pattern is gonna be trained. So in my opinion, starting from scalped is a good option if you can manage being bald for a few weeks. All right, now let's move on to the next length that you could start your 360 waves. So the next length is a medium hair length. It's not too long. You don't really have an afro. You kind of have just like a medium haircut, like a medium length where you could just begin to comb your pattern. It's not too long. It's not like a mini fro. It's just like a medium length hair. This is another good option to starting your 360 waves. If you just hit your curl length, your hair is just beginning to curl. This is a good length to start your 360 waves. The reason I say this is because this is the perfect length to train your 360 waves. Like I said, you could comb your pattern. So that means you could stretch your curls. You could detangle and it's going to be fairly easy to get waves because you're already at your curl length. Also at this length, you're not going to be over curling. You're not going to be over wolfing and you could right away jump into a wash and style, which could get you waves instantly. Also, when your hair is a medium hair length, your hair is going to be extremely controllable because it's not long. So you could have no problem using a medium brush a soft brush and combing, your hair is gonna be very easy to move and train and you will begin to see waves within you know, a couple of days, definitely less than a week because you're already at your curl length. So there aren't really many uh, cons to starting your hair at a medium length. It's pretty much the best hair length to start your 360 waves. The only downside to starting your hair at a medium length is you're gonna see a lot of ripples. You're not really gonna have solid connections right away. It, it might take, you know, maybe two weeks before you see some solid co connections. 
but you will see a lot of ripples and you will begin to see waves very early. All right, now let's move on to a longer hair length. When you're basically, you have a full head of curls, you probably have a mini afro. You could definitely start your 360 waves at this length. You could simply do a wash and style, but I don't recommend starting your 360 waves with a full head of hair. The reason I say this is because once you start your pattern with a full head of hair, you're basically starting your pattern and you're already over wolfing, you're already over curling, and you just have so much hair to train that it's not really sustainable and you're probably going to give up early. So yes, you could technically do a wash and style when your hair is super long, but to be honest, your pattern isn't really trained. You might see some progress, but to be honest, you have so much curls that it's impossible to really train each layer of your pattern in such a short amount of time. And your pattern is going to be very prone to over curling. Your hair is just going to curl back up. It's not really going to stay laid down because you simply have so much hair that's not used to being laid down. Also, if you start your 360 wave pattern with a full head of hair, and you're basically beginning to see progress. You Once you cut off all that hair, you're gonna lose all your progress because your pattern isn't really trained. All those layers weren't really penetrated. But yes, you are able to use a comb. You are able to pull your curls and stretch them. And you are also at your curl length, but it's not really sustainable to train that full head of hair. Plus you're gonna cut it soon, so it doesn't really make sense to start your 360 wave journey with a full head of hair. You're gonna have a ton of ripples, you're gonna have a ton of forks. Like I said, you're gonna be over curling, none of your layers are gonna be trained, and you're gonna be cutting off that hair in a few weeks, so it doesn't really make sense to start your 360 wave journey with a full head of hair. So yeah, those are the three hair lengths that you can start your 360 wave journey. I've started my 360 waves at each and every journey. And I have to say that when my hair was longer and I tried to start my 360 waves, I instantly quit because my hair kept curling back up. It wasn't laying down, it was frizzy, and it was a nightmare to start my 360 waves. And I also started my 360 waves when I scalped. I have a whole series of me beginning my 360 waves from a short, super short scalped haircut. And um, I showed you guys from day one to day 30 of me getting my 360 waves back. Also starting your 360 waves at your curl length or at a medium length is also a good idea. You have enough hair to pull your curls. You could do a wash and style and you could instantly see your waves in a couple days because you are at your curl length. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.